Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Sure. Setting up Python for Django using a virtual environment is a common practice to manage project dependencies effectively. Here's a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do this using Venv. Step 1, Install Python. Make sure you have Python installed on your system. You can download the latest version from the official Python website, https colon slash slash www.python.org slash downloads. During installation, make sure to check the box that adds Python to your system path. Step 2, Install Virtual Environment. Python 3.3 and above comes with Venv included. You can create a virtual environment without installing anything extra. However, to check if you have it, you can run. Step 3, Create a Virtual Environment. 1. Open your terminal or command prompt. 2. Navigate to your project directory or create a new one. For example, 3. Create a virtual environment. Run the following command. This creates a directory named venv in your project folder, which contains a copy of the Python interpreter, the standard library, and various supporting files. Step 4, Activate the virtual environment. On Windows asterisk. On Mac OS and Linux asterisk. You should see the name of your virtual environment, example venv, prefixed in your command line, indicating that the virtual environment is active. Step 5, Install Django. With the virtual environment activated, you can now install Django using pip. To verify the installation, you can run. Step 6, Create a new Django project. Now that Django is installed, you can create a new Django project. This command will create a new directory named miproject containing the basic structure of a Django project. Step 7, Run the development server. 1. Navigate into your project directory. 2. Run the development server. 3. Open your web browser and visit http slash slash 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 slash. You should see the default Django welcome page. Step 8, Deactivate the virtual environment. When you are done working on your project, you can deactivate the virtual environment by running. Step 9, Reactivating the virtual environment. Whenever you want to work on your project again, navigate to your project directory and reactivate the virtual environment. Conclusion You have now set up Python for Django using a virtual environment. This setup allows you to manage dependencies for different projects separately, which is a best practice in Python development. You can start building your Django applications and explore its rich features. Additional tips. One requirements file, to freeze your dependencies, use. To install dependencies from this file later, run. Two IDE setup. If you're using an IDE like PyCharm or VS Code, you can configure it to recognize your virtual environment for linting and running the project. 3. Django Documentation Don't forget to check the official Django documentation, https colon slash slash docs.djangoproject.com slash n slash stable, for more advanced topics and best practices. Feel free to ask if you have any questions or need further assistance.